my god, it's so good. Hey, they gave a lot uh, for 60 baht. I think it's 60 baht? Yeah. The leaner parts is still very, very tender. Oh. Hey, fuck, you're not okay. I'm 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 not okay. The packing very OG, uh. I think they are founders here. Oh, look at that. You got the whole one. Oh! oh Zermatt! Ah! Oh! This is good, eh? Can you try? 25 baht, 25 baht. Guys, this one, the milk tea one, uh. I highly recommend the milk tea one. Take a piece of skin. Hear the crackling. Okay, good. My volume okay, right? Okay, good evening, people. We are at Bangkok, Thailand again. It's quite late already. We came here for a meeting, okay? It's about 9 p.m. already. So we're here at Chinatown. I want to film a night market. The other time we already filmed Jok Fai Night Market. And I don't think I want to slam another night market here in Bangkok because some are kind of like repeated. So that's why we come. We came to Chinatown today. Uh, a lot of you guys actually recommended this place. They, they say like the night scene here is quite bustling. Uh, there's a good amount of food, a lot of things to try. This girl just happened to be in Bangkok as well. A lot of you guys requested for her. So she's here with me. Uh, thank you, thank you guys seen her. Humbled. This episode is just with her. Walking around so she can... So that I can be competitive. Compet... Eh. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, continue. Okay, so anyways, today, I'm just gonna explore this place with her. I don't know what is good, I don't know what is bad. We actually got Sean to order the squid first. And then we're gonna go there and we're gonna start somewhere from the, from the end. And then we're gonna slowly move all the way down. I'm trying to figure out what to order and what is good. I think this is their signature. The grill squid, this one. I will try and be ambitious. I want to try the squid now. Okay, we get... Uh, this one, two, three, good. Which one? This one? Yes, your tan tan. Oh, your tan tan. Uh? <laughs> you will cut it out, is it? We get one, two, three. Okay. Okay. One of the options that is squid eggs inside. There's a bunch of like different stuff in there. I don't know what is good, but I'm just going to leave it up to her. Thank you, brother. What is your name? Luis. 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 Hey, your girlfriend. What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? Patricia. 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 First dish. This one we queue. Okay, the queue wasn't that bad. Lah. About 15 minutes, okay? Lucky we got. What is your name? You don't want to eat it. This one is the very famous squid, lah, okay? It's all the way in front. They recommended me two, two items. One is the, the entire squid. The other one is the one with eggs in there. Look at that, okay? I'm gonna show you guys how much eggs is there. You need to have some form of spice tolerance before trying this. Lah. Yeah, okay, you can take spice on Nina. I can. Can, ah? Yeah, spice okay, is my rice. number one. But my question is, do you eat this? I eat cilantro, oh, okay, yes. Okay, very good, very good. I you haven't eaten that. anything ah, for almost 20 hours already. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> Oh, it's so good. It's not very spicy actually. Eh. It's sweet, sour, mm. spicy at the same time. The sauce is everything. Eh. Wait, I find it's a bit tough. I'm gonna get another bite. Wow, it's so good. Mm. I really enjoy this one. The sauce is everything. Eh. Their seafood sauce is so good. The squid is not the most tender one, okay? Maybe today the standard is a bit off or something. But very, very good. I recommend this sauce. For a 15 minutes wait, I think it's worth it. Oh. The one with the egg is very good. I haven't tried the one with the egg. I fished out one with the egg. Mm. Oh. No, it's so good. I think I'm gonna finish this. No, no, I do. I walk and eat. Okay. The first time on my channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, what a chance. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Second stop. It's just right beside the squid. Apparently, according to Sean, we need to try this. Bye, Nina. Grab one. Rose pork. Hey, you try like, the green one. Okay, yeah. I try the black one. Oh. oh, wow. I wasn't expecting this. It's not on the fatty side. Very incredibly fatty. It just disintegrates. Skin, right, is very biscuity. 
it's not crispy, it's like crunchy already. You try this one just now? The green sauce, you yeah, like... I try the black one. No, you I try like... the green one. The green one nice. Uh. Not bad, but I think because we had the squid rice, so the spicy level is like lower. Okay. Oh, Nina keeping up. Uh. <laughs> very good. Very, very good. The green sauce is what makes it. Yeah. Green sauce is better. It's sour, lemony, a bit citrusy. It's very, very garlicky. Huh? This one tastes like ketchup manis. Let's move on. We got a lot of stalls to cover. Okay, so this stretch is like a mini... Yeah, I wouldn't call it a night market. A uh, mini stretch where it's like a, having a bit of night market vibes here. There's a lot more food, more restaurants here. The yeah, right, is very big. But anyways, here, right, there's a lot of like kuei chow, duck noodle, a bunch of stuff. We're gonna get some stuff here. So you got a fun fact to share? Yes. What is so it? my Thai friend tell me that when you're on this street, eat on the left side. The left side, the left side, the left side. I'm not sure whether it's true or not. No, la. it's go there or come back left side. Yeah, <laughs> Face down left side, is it? I think, I think it's the right side. I la. trust you. Uh. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Face down right side. Is it? Uh. He left side is the best. Hello. Now we get the, this one. Everything one. The 100 baht one, 100 baht. One. One, one, one. one. items from this stretch. Okay, this one is the Kao Kao Mu. Jiu pork leg with rice. The seafood pancake. Seafood pancake, okay. Which one you want to try first, like? We try the rice first. Let's try the rice first, okay. Oh, oh shit. my god, the leg! I never said anything. I never, I never said... Hey, they gave a lot, uh, for 60 baht. I think it's 60 baht? Yeah, okay, let's go. Mm. The meat is very tender. Not bad, not bad. Quite nice. The ratio is very, very nice. You can taste the... The fatty bits, you can taste the, the leaner parts. And the leaner parts are still very, very tender. Oh, and the main side, what? Oh, main main side? Yeah, yeah main side, damn sure. Hey, f***, you want to give me a look? Hey, they really give a lot of meat. Uh. I would prefer uh, them to give me a bit of chili. I don't know why she didn't put me out of any <gasps> chili. That's not chili. I'm not chili, yeah. Oh. I realize the meat here is a, most of them are very fatty, but then they cook it damn well. Like even the skin, right? It's like mm. very gelatin. Oh, it's so bad, though. Yeah, okay, you can't have a jelly time move. <laughs> that is me during my first eating contest. Really, man? I'm going to start my hand. This one is what? Combination of everything? Uh? It's a mix like seafood everything. Uh, but it looks a bit like omelette. It's supposed to be a pancake. So maybe their version of a pancake is a different understanding from ours. So it's so omelette or pancake? It's like a pancake. Uh, <laughs> trust us, uh, we say pancake. Okay, like, let's try this. I don't even know if it's omelette or pancake. We try without a sauce first. Okay. Uh. Wait, well, you got tauge at the bottom. Well, I love tauge. Uh. Okay, let's go. Oh. Very greasy, yeah. quite a bit bland. I'm gonna add in the sauce. Uh. Now we try again. Just now the bag was too bland. Oh, you need a sauce. Uh. We have a sauce bit yeah. You try. Who can make fun better? Okay. Yeah. This bag yeah, like, got a difference. You really need to thin everything inside. Then got a bit of difference. Wait, the sauce is really so much better. Mm -hmm. Two sauce. I think we want well, today quite bad. Uh. Four stalls down with him. Nina keeping up. You don't move again. Which yeah. one nice? This one. This one best, is yeah. it? This is soup, this is no soup. Oh, no soup nice or soup yes, nice? Okay. Are you ready, Nina? Of course! Okay, like? I never eat duck's blood before. Eh? Oh, okay, now we try the duck's blood together first. Eh? A virgin duck's blood. I had it a couple of times here. Ah. Oh, very nice. How was it? It tastes like a very savory... Egg white. Something like that. But it's not like bloody or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it doesn't feel anything like... If you don't tell me it's blood, I wouldn't know. I mean, yeah. not like a tasted like, blood It's before. like jelly. I'm going to get my first bite of noodle with duck inside. There's a piece of duck inside, huh? I think you're supposed to season it on your own because it tastes a bit light. Looking at you eat. It's sour. It's sour, okay. In the meantime, while she's recovering from her very sour, I added a bit of chili vinegar, one scoop of chili vinegar, a bit of chili flakes, maybe a bit of fish sauce. 
Now, right, it's gonna. I think it's gonna taste a lot different now. I'm gonna try that. You wanna try that? Yeah. Right? There's a lot of like crispy garlic bits in there. I'm gonna get a piece of liver also in my bite. Mm, not bad. Yeah, it's really quite light, like you said. Mm. Okay, you try the soup one, you try the soup one. This is soup the box, I'm gonna pass you. Actually, not bad because the soup is very savory. It tastes a bit like a very light bakut thing. I don't think I need to add any condiments for the soup one. Oh, no bad. So far, everything I've eaten is quite good. Oh, this is the dark gizzard. I realised that the duck's blood, right? The dry and the soup version one tastes a little different. Because I think the soup one is a little more cooked, while this is a bit more raw. Honestly, I like this one. I find it a bit light, so, but if you guys have more song for weight like me, right, just add on more condiments. So. I think it will balance off the taste. But overall, quite nice. Okay, guys, there's a bit of that, that taste, uh, like a sing weight. It's not coming from the meat, uh, it's coming from the liver, actually. Very, very okay with the, this, this taste, because I'm a fan of liver. If you guys don't like this kind of taste, right, can I ask them to omit? Uh? Oh, interesting, eh? I don't know, let see what it is. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Uh, so this thing is 30 baht, okay? I have no idea what it is, we're gonna try right away. She's like scooping them out like three quick. Right? Yeah, I was thinking yeah. that's it. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Mmm. Reminds me of something. Yeah. What is that? What are the noya kuih? Kuih lapis. When you eat the noya kuih, that's the green thing. Green and white one. Ah, right? uh, green and white one. Ah, how to say Exactly the same. It's actually very good. Eh? Oh. <laughs> she is very nice. She is still adding more for us. Okay, enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna try the smaller one. Both are the same. All right, all right. It's just that texture is a bit different. Small one, a bit more firm. The bigger one is a bit more fluffy. Uh, which I will texture you guys like. Okay, let's move on. Thank you, thank you very much. Kakunka, kakunka. Oh, I like this thing. They added like one heaping scoop of the ghee. Oh my god. I like how they chop up the thing using the, the skillet. And then they added a whole bunch of condensed milk in it. Well, I'm gonna start first with the done. What? It smells so good. Eh? The, the, the fragrance of the banana. <laughs> this is so good. Eh? This is better than the ones I had in the Singapore Chatu Chat. Okay, I explained to you a bit why. The exterior of the prata, it doesn't taste like a prata. It's like incredibly crispy, super thin, something like a tissue already. Inside, uh, the banana, it becomes a bit like custard already. Add a bit of condensed milk. Oh, this is like the perfect ultimate snack. A bit simple, but this is so, so good. Eh? I could do 50 of this. You know, that's the first one. It's very soft. So for this, right, I had this in many, many parts of Thailand before. Oh, yeah. I think that this one is a, li a little bit more on the less charred side because the ones that I usually have is like very, very charred. Agree with you that it's very custardy inside, but I think it's also they use the different bananas from the usual kind that I see in like, let's say Phuket or yeah. Krabi. The right? thing about their banana is mm. it doesn't look that right. So I thought that it's not going to be that Custody, it's gonna be a bit more of the texture the kind. But this one is incredibly custody though. It's at the right texture after they cook it. Okay, I'm just gonna get another piece. I'm gonna say something for my producer. I had a lot of gyoza, but I've never had this before. It's called a Chinese chai sheet. Yeah, they are actually freshly frying it. Oh, wait. All right. All right. You know what this smells like right now? It smells like. One, two, three, lock, lock. Yeah. <laughs> it smells like the lock, lock broccoli. Eh. And it looks a bit like it. Oh, wait, Nina, this one very hot. Eh. Wait, wait, wait. That food is very hot. Eh. I'm going to bite into half first. Eh. Ready? Okay, I agree. You know, in Singapore, we eat the Peng Kui. This is very similar to Peng Kui. It's got a bit more of the chai fragrance. The exterior is extremely, extremely crispy. They have some chili. I'm going to ask, get them to hook me out with some chili. Mmm. Eh. Way better than the chili. I got a feeling the chili is not meant for this. But it tastes really good with the chili. I think the chili is meant for the gyoza. This so, is very interesting. Yeah. It's like chives and then they add in a bunch of like starch and that kind of stuff. So 
酸的。The last jiao is like a seafood sauce, a bit garlicky, very garlicky actually. We're gonna continue to move, and we're gonna eat. Oh, it's the, the steam bread, I think. Okay, I'm looking for this store actually to get a pencil, you get a paper, and you order here. What can I get? I'm just gonna get one Thai milk tea, one egg custard. I think it's good enough. Eh? If not, it might be a bit too overwhelming. Maybe I should get a few more since the queue is so long. These are actually steamed buns. Like buns that are... I, I'm not sure it's bar oh, no, barbecue no. roasted buns. And then they are, they are working very fast. Lah, okay? And then after that, you choose whatever toppings you want. It can be like egg custard, peanut butter, whatever you want. And then they will they will add in, they will add for you. And then they will, they will pass it to you. So do you want to take up? Four. You want some more? Yeah, this one, uh, the packing very OG. Uh. Two of their, I think they are founders here. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. You got the whole one. Ooh. Oh! Sermet! Ah! This is the milk tea one. Okay, let's try the milk tea one. This is good. Eh? It's sweet, but it's so nice. It's like sinful in a very bad way. Still very toasty. Very, very messy. Uh, no? Very, very sour. Oh my god. You will try, you try. <laughs> oh, it's 25 baht. 25 baht. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Eh? Hey, guys, this one, the milk tea one. Uh, I highly recommend the milk tea one. I know how they spread. Uh, they spread until it's like... Very generous serving. And I think that what I like about the bread is that it's toasted on the outside. So it gives you a bit of a crunch. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is what? Uh, I don't know. Mm. Is this egg custard? I think it's kaya. I don't know. Wow, this one is so good. The egg custard one is so incredibly good. I'm not a fan of sweets, uh, but oh. this one blew me away. Because the buns are still toasty. Eh. Try the this one. It is. How you, very good, this one. Very simple, but it's so good though. Okay, I have one more option, the milk one. Like, Sean, try milk. Oh, okay, like, like. How's the milk one? Satisfying? <laughs> Very messy, huh? but 100% like, I recommend like 10 over 10. Price point is excellent. One dollar is really good. I'll take this to Singapore. Very good. This store, uh, I think they got fish mold soup and this special, they call it fried rice thing, uh, this thing. She comes with a bunch of uh, red dates, ginkgo nuts, a bunch of different stuff in there. I don't know, I saw that it's this old auntie cooking. That's why I want to support her. I don't know if it's good. Uh. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, come, we're gonna try this one. It's been a while since I had fish mold though. Okay, there's goji berry, there's like fish mold, there's cilantro. Okay, I don't want to add vinegar or anything first. Uh. I'm just gonna try it like that first. Okay, let's go. Maybe I'm not, not used to the taste, but it tastes a lot lighter than how I would like it. Because the ones that we have in Singapore is like thicker and it's more savory. This is a very light version. Oh. Honestly, I like this one. This is way more herbaceous than any ones I've had. It's more herbal, la. but the fish mouth, I think, is not the top quality one. It's more of the, the regular ones. La. But then the broth is extremely herbaceous. I'm going to add in a bit of vinegar. I'm going to try again. Just a squirt, just a squirt. Better? Much better. How was the fried rice? They call it fried rice. It doesn't look fried rice to me. Uh. You can get everything in one bite. It tastes a bit like he ye fun. A cross between the lotus leaf rice, the glutinous rice, and the difficult fried rice. I like they added a lot of like red dates, ginkgo nuts to give it a bit of like sweetness, uh, which is quite nice, quite refreshing. It gives me a like non glutinous rice version of a glutinous yes, rice. Yes, 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 yes. If you come here, I think this is the one to order. For me personally, this one. Don't come here with very high expectation. Uh. It's not that fantastic, okay? I'll be honest. It's average, but it's not bad. It's good also. Can try because it's only 100 baht. Very, very affordable. And look at the amount of fish more. I eat like 7 bites already. There's still so much fish more inside. Oh. Awesome, awesome.
Say hello to your Cambodia friend. Hi, Cambodia. <laughs> Okay guys, very lucky. Uh, we are walking towards the store. A lot of you guys recommended this one. It's the Chinese donut, which is yutiao that is deep fried and then they added some sort of like sugary syrup. Uh, while we're walking towards the place, uh, we met one of, one of the viewers and then he mentioned that it's actually closed. So he actually passed us some for us to try. So this is why we can give you guys a quick review. Oh! It's cool. Oh wow! A little bit different from the typical yudiao. The texture is fluffier, and then they added this sugary syrup thing. Very, very good. I think you can choose not just this, uh, a lot of different options. What do you think? It's so hot, not sure. Oh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Are you sure? I was the last guy to get one. The last one. He's super kind and he's gonna share one with me. This guy is the MVP here today. If you guys want to check out this store, it's all the way against the traffic. If you come after 9, after 10, it might be run out. But this is really good. We actually all a suckling pig to end this off. Let's head back. Oh, yeah, one bit. Yeah, yeah, eat here, eat here. Add a bit of the sauce. Because Nina can take spice. Nina, you're enjoying this food trip so far. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Have you tried Thai chicken rice? Yes, of course. My first time. Eh? Huh, really? Yeah. Okay, you try first, you try I'll first. Try first huh? Yeah. I need a bread before I give you guys a birthday. Because she gave me all chicken breasts. Uh. So it'll be hard to get. I prefer the Thai chili sauce over the Singapore chili sauce. It's a lot more balanced. It feels a bit fermented. It's got more layers. Uh. Not just garlicky. Quite good. I, I like their, their chili. But uh, the chicken is nowhere close to the Singapore one. This chicken, I think they use some sort of, I don't kampong chicken or whatever chicken. It's just very tough. Uh, the Singapore chicken is way more succulent than this. Sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just telling you guys from my point of view as a Singaporean. The distinctive difference with the Singaporean chicken rice and the Thai one mm. is that the rice in the Thai one is a little bit more oily and what determines a good Thai chicken rice is actually the chili. I and that the chicken really, I still feel that Singapore one is better. Really, the, the chili got more layers, uh, more spicier than local ones. Okay, so this restaurant is Nam Sing, which is Nan Sing uh, in Chinese. It's right beside this one, this very famous Zisa store uh, that all the overseas, all my over, all my local Singapore friends will, will recommend. The store is already inside. I got him to order a suckling pig uh, and he said when, every time he comes to Thailand, right, when he eats suckling pig, he will come here. Uh. So the wait is about 40 minutes. So we head in now. This place serves a lot of like bird's nest, shark fins and all the premium things. But we didn't get all those, uh, we just got the suckling pig. There's two reasons why we got suckling pig. The first one is we want to end off strong. Chinatown, so we want to get suckling pig. Second reason, uh, there's this one guy on my YouTube channel that always asks me to like keep commenting on every single video to get me to eat a suckling pig. Okay, let's try it, come. Whoa, hey, look at the juices. Oh, oh. Hey, can I just bite? Oh, take a piece of skin. Hear the crackling, hear the okay, crackling. Yeah. I'm still very overwhelmed by this experience, sorry. Oh. <laughs> I want to eat the, the meat with the skin. Usually people only eat the skin. I want to eat both together. Dip it inside the sauce. This sauce uh, reduces a bit of that taste fatigue. It's not a bit too overwhelming. Like show, but a bit, uh. Oh, this is incredible because they cook it right away when you order. Okay, honestly, right, I was expecting it to be a little bit more fatty and oily than this, but it does actually have some like really lean looking meat. So I believe that this is because the pig is very young. Xiao Zhu. I'm not sure it's the right way to eat. I'm just actually, gonna... yeah, I think I think that's the right way to eat. Uh. I'm gonna chase it with this thing. I'm gonna chase it with this. Mmm, not bad. Oh, I'm enjoying it so much. This month, uh, I'm prepping for like 
Yeah, it's sure final. Today is finally I, I get to like relax a bit and enjoy a bit. I'm, I'm so happy today. This is relaxed, but all in all, suckling plate pretty enjoyable because of the, the crispy skin, you know, because it's like cooked fresh. I think it's a bit too overwhelming. If you're gonna share it with like two person or three person, this could be overwhelming. So if you have a group of like four to five, can be shared. This one is not the best I've had. I have better suckling pig, but this is not bad already. So suckling pig is all about the skill of the peat master, how they cook it, you know, how they manage the heat, how they control the fire and everything. But this one is actually good enough. And the chick, I know a lot of people like to eat the chick of the pig also. I've been leaving this with Sean because he say it's his favorite part. Very, very enjoyable. Chinatown experience today. My favorite today uh, is actually the buns that is like filled with all the custard, milk tea, uh, jam, and all that kind of stuff. That one is so good. I know how they do it, but it's just so good. I thought it's something that is very easy to replicate, but actually it turns out to be something that's really, really good. Q actually, you see very long Q, right? But it turned around very fast. Mm. Favorite is actually the milk tea. Uh. Nice, the kaya. So we're coming to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. That's it, okay? That's it for this video. If you guys like Nina... No more, please. Please, I don't think I can, I can eat with them. You like, can. I think, I really think I cannot. If like, you guys like to see Nina, no. please comment down below. It's okay. And I'll invite her back to this channel mm. again. Uh, if you guys like this kind of vlog, let me know down in the comments below as well. This is a very enjoyable one. Thailand, uh, we will be going back to Taiwan again in less than two weeks time. This trip, even though it's a one day trip to Bangkok, a lot of you guys actually came out to me and say hi, I'm very happy. Okay, but that's it, okay? That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Peace out. See you guys from Bangkok, Thailand, Chinatown. Why you do? See you guys in the next one. I will see you guys in the next video.